What do we got here? We got a couple Canics. We got the Canic Rival. And we got the Rival S. We're gonna test both of these today. So if you're seeing a video on one or the other, you may need to go look for the video for the other one. So let's see what the Rival S gives to us. Setting this one aside. Do, 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 do. Hey. Push the buttons to open it. <clears throat> you got your instruction manual and your owner's packet here. Got a nice little badge up here if you can see that. Kind of neat. Yep, and there she is. She's pretty. Got a little tool. Same tool that this one comes with, if you didn't see it in there. Extra magazine, replaceable back straps, some nice milk slide cuts. Yep, it is empty right now. Nice ag aggressive on the texturing. Extended mag release. Flared magazine well. An optic cut. Got all your optic plates here. Setting this aside, if you actually lift up this top, this is actually a neat little tool. <clears throat> Has a slide off bottom. Comes with the extra little tools inside it. Do do do. Put that back all in there. For the next guy, we have only borrowed this, so we want to send it back the way we got it. Pulling this top layer off. There you go. You got a holster. Got all the plates for your optics. Uh, easy loader. Yep. And cleaning kit there you have it so we made the insert for this this will be running the rival s sfx rival s we'll be showing this in the insert today we'll show you how to uh, do a fit test too against the rival s and uh, keep in mind you have to use the stock back strap if you have changed it for the smaller or the large you'll need to change it back to the stock one to use it with our grip inserts and we'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. So the Canic Rival S comes with a Kydex holster. Not a bad holster. A little thin and it's a nice little stock holster. Locks right in. Not a bad little unit here. But if you're looking for an heirloom lifetime leather piece, Simply Rugged Holsters here in Prescott, Arizona, world renowned, used by Gunsight Academy. They have the leather holsters of your choice. They have inside waistband, outside waistband. You're looking for some fancy basket weave. We got some blue shark. This is called the Surf and Turf with some blue shark and some cow leather. And this one's some alligator skin. So they even got some fancy ones. There's all kinds over there at Simply Rugged Holsters. They got shoulder holsters, uh, side draw holsters, outside, inside, chest holster. They have a chest holster. Um, check out Simply Rugged Holsters. You can obviously run the standard cat axe they have that they offer with the rifle, or if you want a nice leather piece that would work really well for a carry for your rival S or your rival, check out Simply Rugged Holsters. Okay, the grip inserts for the rival is going to take the SF grip insert because it is a SFX rival. In the rival S, it is slightly redesigned as you can see. The back strap is slightly different as a replaceable back strap that these wrap around. And there is a little bit different to the beaver tail or otherwise. We're gonna test the Rival first. All right, we're gonna test the Rival S gun right now. And we wanna discuss the grip insert, okay? And if you're watching the video for the Rival S, there is a video for the Rival, and we also discuss the grip insert for the Rival. And so you may reference that video if you're watching one or the other. All right, so popping this open, this insert was specifically made for the Rival S. To do a grip fit test, you actually set one side of the grip insert on the table, take your unloaded weapon, see it's empty, unloaded visibly, and you set it in one side of the grip insert. You need to visibly inspect, it contours the back strap right, and it contours the front strap right. After that, taking the, your unloaded we weapon, squeezing the insert on one side, grabbing this, you can fill it fits like a glove and it's locked together. When it's set in here, you can feel it sets flat and it doesn't roll. It sets solid on there. You'll note that we actually made a new insert for the Rival S because it's slightly different on the back strap, the beaver tail here, and the texturing and the replaceable grip panels are slightly different. These grip panels wrap around with the texturing and the pattern, they literally aren't universal so we recommend the rival s 
grip insert for this gun. If you take the standard rival and set it in here, it seems like it fits, but you're gonna see there's a visible gap to the back strap. It's bobtailed a little more here at the bottom. You're gonna see some visible light. You're gonna see some light in the front. You're gonna see this also rocks a little bit. And then when you do your function test, it does feel like it locks on okay. So you could possibly use this insert for that gun. You just may need to do a few more settling rounds. Now remember, the grip insert is the durometer of the human hand. So it gives a little bit and then it's stiff, okay? So just like if you made a fist, it gives a little bit and then it's stiff. And it gives a little bit stiff. So when you tighten the gun, on, when you tighten the grip insert on the gun in the ransom rest, use extended fingers. Do not over tighten. It would swell the insert and it could deform a polymer gun, okay? So for a polymer, you're talking about 14 to 18 inch pounds. For the steel frame, you're talking 18 to 24 inch pounds of torque, okay? So you do a visible inspection, a physical inspection, okay? And if something doesn't look right, you need the proper insert when doing accuracy and repeatability test. So there you have it. We have the Rival S. When testing this gun, you need the stock back strap. It has three different back straps. You want the stock one that's installed. If you're not sure, do that visible inspection. Make sure it doesn't rock. Make sure it sets flat. And make sure it contours properly. And you know you'll have the right back strap on that gun, okay? We're gonna put this in the ransom rest and we'll end up testing it and showing you what that gun will do. Stay tuned. All right, gonna do the Rival S. Gonna put one grip insert on. Gonna put the other grip insert on just a little bit. All right, bring her up. We drop the gun in, has a big, large magwell, it's emptied. Okay, well. Reason we still have the trigger bar on there. Mm. Okay, gun's emptied. Has a large mag well, so I'm just gonna drop her in there, put it in the one side. A neat little trick is if you hold it on the empty magazine, sometimes that'll hold that in there and makes it easy to push the other grip in. Just like that. Now we'll get your ABC plate, washers. And then the tree star knobs. Okay. One of the biggest things you need to note, not to over clamp this thing in the machine. I know you're shooting for accuracy and repeatability. But one of the biggest mistakes people make is they over clamp this thing. So don't over clamp it. Just snug it in there. Human hand grip's not that strong. And keep in mind, girls shoot these guns. So, yep, you want about the equal gap all the way around. So I go A, B, C, and A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. Throw the box on the ground, stuff like that. There you go. A lot of times when I'm going through the A, B, C, I'll actually wiggle the barrel as I'm tightening to get that group down. Okay, there you have it. Here we are. All right, check into the magazine. The magazine goes right in. Here we have it. I'm happy with it. Here we have it. Okay, radar triggered. First round. We're gonna settle the gun in with some Scorpion ammo from Phoenix. It's a reman ammo. Same ammo we used for the Rival. This is a Rival S, first round of the Rival S. Scorpion reman, 124 grain. First round to settle the gun. Fire in the hole. A little to the right of bullseye. Velocity is 962. Down to battery. Round two. Round two is just under that one. Doesn't have that hand rack flyer like the last one did. Yeah. Round three. Just to the left of that. Round four. Still at 919 velocity. Round four. There you go. Okay. 1049. 
Okay, round five. Then round six. Then round seven. And then round eight. All right, eight rounds. Settle the gun. Rival S. Let's go down range, we'll measure it, see what that did for us. Last round didn't acquire, but the one before that was 1098. So we went from 980 or 96 to yeah. 1098. That's 100 feet per second deviation. Wow. This is powder measure normally. Right. Well, yeah, it's a, it just seems odd to me. Did you get the velocity shout out on? Oh, yeah, I got everything. Velocity I haven't shot. shut it off. All right, 15 yards. Here we go. Doop, doop, doop. First rounds of that gun. So the first eight rounds. There you have it. A little tighter group than yeah, than the and because it's a metal frame. Didn't take as much to settle. Right. Polymer sometimes take a little more to settle. Yeah. Than the metal frame. Metal frame typically is a little more accurate. Mm-hmm. And we're at two inch by two inch. And that's a little more than two. So there you have it. Interesting. <clears throat> I'd say the other the other gun seemed to hold a little tighter group. Looks a little bit more elongated up here. Um, but with the first round being so close, this is definitely a tighter group. So we didn't change the cardboard, so the cardboard behind it is of the other gun. So actually, let's leave this up. Yeah, as I say, leave that one up. My bad. We'll staple this back up there. And let's put a little target over. And then we'll have all the grouping we do. Yeah. On this one. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty. Sounds good. You pass it to me, and I will pass it to you. <laughs> Scalpel. <laughs> so we'll uh drop down to 115 again, I guess. Yep. Build our way up. Yes, let's do a few rounds. All right, Fiocchi 115 grain. Just like when we did the rival, we're gonna start with just some Fiocchi 115. We'll see how she goes. She's kind of a round nose. FMJ. Yep. Bring her up, magazine in. Down the battery. We'll see if he gets the flyer round that the rival got. Oh, mm. here you go. I didn't pull it back far oh, enough. Okay. All right, triggered the radar. Let me see if I got some kind of sight picture here. Do, 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 do. Says I do. A little left of the bullseye. All right, first round. Eyes and ears on. Clear down range. Fire in the hole. Right through the bullseye. 1195 on velocity. Ooh, that was cooking. All right, round two. Through the same hole. Nice. 1227, huge velocity difference. Round three. Just a little to the left of that at 1200. Boom. Round four. Look at that. Definitely shoots different than the other gun. For sure. Clear difference. Round five. So that was 1154. Round five was 1129 and through about the same hole. Round six. Well, look at that. What are we getting on the protractor? Round seven. It was a little less. We're at 14 and a half. Okay. That was round seven. Last round, round eight. Look at that. 12.6 on the protractor with 1194. So there you have it. Eight rounds. Fiochi. I told you that 115 gave us tight groups before. Didn't in the other gun. No, as I say, that steel frame makes a big difference. No barrel is the same. No gun is the same. If you're not testing, you're guessing. This shows it. You compare this video 115 to the other 115. It's different. Seems as this gun, that barrel, shoots a little different. Let's go down range find out. Still a little elongated on that ammo for some reason. 
gave it to us a little elongated before. We're one and an eighth right there, 1.125. Weird. Left right elongation. May have to do with the rifling and velocity. Depending on how the rifling ends, does it end vertically? All right. Or horizontally? And then how the velocity affects it. Sometimes a higher velocity doesn't always give vertical. Sometimes a higher velocity, depending on where the rifling is, I've seen it go horizontal before. Mm -hmm. That's my take of it from all the testing I do. You might have a different take, but that's my take of it. Here you have it. Do, 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 do. There's all the group so far. Well, that's the 115 Fiocchi. Did pretty well. A little better than the Scorpion ammo. The Fiocchi 115 did better in this one than it did on the Rival. Here you go. Let's try 124 Fiocchi. Ready? Yep. Okay. Fiocchi 124 grain for those of you following along. All right. Magazine in. Boop. Down to battery. Okay. Racking her back. Letting her go. Normally I drop the slide, but just for consistency today, we've been racking them all. Zoom in, see if I got any kind of sight picture. Do, 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 do. There you go. Just low a bullseye. All right, first round of the 124 Fiocchi. Fire in the hole. Right in bullseye. 14 on the angle. We're looking at 1138 on the velocity. Round two. Just below that and 1141 on velocity. Round three. Same hole as the below one, 13.5 on the angle, 11.16 on velocity. Round four. Alrighty. Round five. Round six. Round seven. That's 11.11 on velocity. And round eight. There you have it. Eight, last round went a little to the left. The others made it look vertically elongated. That one gave us a round circle, given that last round. 12.9 on the angle, 11.77 on velocity. Definitely some velocity change, some angle change. I got my calipers. Let's go Let's use see them. what she measures. 15 rounds uphill, both ways. Yeah. 15 yards uphill, both ways. And what the hell happened to our 50? Oh, our 50 fell apart. <laughs> Board breaker or something? I'm gonna go investigate after we dick this. Cardboard gave up. Something. Cardboard gave up the ghost. Yep. Oh, uh, maybe we're not even shooting it. I don't know. No, I think Two we're hitting it. I just, five. I think maybe we hit the wood. Huh. It's gonna cost you five bucks. Five bucks, hit the wood. 0.875. 75. That one's a little further down there. Eh, 1.1. Huh. 1.1. A little more. It's under inch and a quarter. Yeah, inch and a quarter including that one. 1.1 if you elude it. Yeah. Not bad. Huge difference for this 124 Fiocchi versus the last gun with the 124 Fiocchi. Mm -hmm. I mean, you compare these two videos, it's a huge group difference between those two ammo. Yeah. That's just the same ammo through two different guns. You're not testing, you're guessing. Just because that ammo don't like this gun doesn't mean it don't like other guns. Right. You know? Very interesting. We're going to hang another target. We're going to continue on. I don't remember what our next up on the gauntlet is. We're going to use some mixed grain. I think we're going to try some uh, arms core. Yeah. Just yep. for some consistency. Yep. Sounds like a plan, man. There you have it. Jan, all right, we're going to do some arm score. 124 grain. We saw what it did with a rival. We're going to try it with a rival S. Obviously, the Fiocchi gave us a nicer group with the rival S. We're going to see if the arm score gives a nicer group. 
Magazine in, down the battery. I'm gonna rack it for consistency. She's a hot. Let me zoom in, see if I got some kind of sight picture. Do, 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 do. Here we go. All righty. All right, first round, arm score. Canic Rival S, fire in the hole. A little left for the first round. 1147 on velocity. Round two. Post up and right of that. Lost a 50 yard target. 50 yard target goes, shot it right off of it. <laughs> shot it right off. <laughs> Good shot. Right. 1096 for that one. All right, <clears throat> round three. Just below the round two. Round four. 1158 on velocity, round five. Okay, round six. Off to the right of that group. Round seven. And then round eight. Definitely a nicer group than it gave us in the rival. Yeah. Definitely gave us a low hand rack flyer again. Huh. Nicer group. I'm impressed. Steel frame. Yeah. Huh. Must be. I mean, it, gotta be. No guns the same. Right. I don't. I don't liken it to the metal frame, even though metal frames do group a little tighter normally. But yeah, who knows? A little bit difference on the barrel. Go down. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah. He's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Blew it away. So, definitely a tighter grip. Still a little bit of a spread through that arm score. You know, first mm -hmm. round and definitely, uh, you know, these rounds are within three quarter of an inch. You include that one, you're out to inch and a quarter. You include this bottom one, you're down to inch and a half. So that's out to inch and a half. It includes that rack down there. You're definitely getting out towards three and an eighth, 3.125. So three inch, which is kind of what it gave us on the other one. Not sure why, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not the winner today. That's Arms Core, 124 grain. We'll pull this and we'll show you what it looks like in comparison to the other groups today. And it, it rose, it actually planted up here compared to everything else. Oh, yeah. Interesting, didn't expect that either. There you have it. It's all the ammo through the Rival S so far. And we forgot to do the sealer ballot. 124, so we're gonna try some sealer ballot. Last time the sealer ballot beat out the Fiocchi. So let's see what she does this time. Is that memory correct on me, Tom? Yeah, I believe so. I think so. so let's yep. go see if the let's go find out. sealer ballot. Sealer ballot, 124 grain. We're gonna verify it. Last time the sealer ballot beat out the Fiocchi with the rival. This time, the Fiocchi did really well on the rival S. So we're interested to see what the sealer ballot will do. All right, still a taper nose, kind of a ball nose. Okay, FMJ. That's what we got, magazine going in. Sealer ballot, eight rounds, going down to battery. We're gonna rack it for consistency. Boop, boop. Elaborate our trigger. Everybody's on, eyes and ears on. Clear down range. I don't see no cows. No cows down range. First round of sealer ballot, 124. Fire in the hole. Right through the bullseye and papers flying off of the 25 yard target. 14 on the angle and Huh. 11.32 on velocity. Down the battery. Round two. Just low right of that one. 12.20 on velocity. 14.80 on the angle. Round three. Back right under round one hole. Round four. Back on the round two hole. <laughs> That's pretty comical. Yep. All right. This will be round five. Above round two hole. Ready, round six, fire in the hole. Ah, it's above the round six hole. Yeah. Wandered over and up, huh? Mm -hmm. well, that was 1181 on velocity. 
It climbed also. Ready, fire in the hole. There we have it. And I think it's one more. Ready, Lee? Yep. Fire in the hole. Twelve seventy-five. Then you go eleven sixty-five on velocity. Just chunk that target. Let's go find out. So the sealer ballot didn't win any races today. Apparently the Fiocchi won this round. The sealer ballot won that last one. Yeah. Two inch. Yep, it wasn't for a couple of those rounds. Yeah. We'd be down an inch and three quarters. So oh well, nothing to write home home about. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to go some Winchester 147 grain, some target ammo. 140 grain Winchester. Same box and same ammo we used for the rival. I'd like to know what she does in this one. Kind of a flat tip. Alrighty, FMJ. We've got a copper jacket on it. Magazine in. Down to battery. Racking it for consistency. Go ahead and use the protractor again. Radar triggered. First round of the FMJ. Let me zoom in here, see if we can get some kind of sight picture. Doot, doot, doot. For those of you who want to look at the sights. Alrighty. First round of the Winchester. Fire in the hole. And the wind's picked up. Yeah. Kind of a nose wind. Yeah. Right at us. It huh? is, yeah. Alright, a little low left. 1025 on velocity. 15 on the angle. Okay, round two. Just to the right of that. 1025 on velocity. Round three. Right on top of round two. All right, round four. Right on top. Round five. Right on top. <laughs> round six. And round seven. Oh, round seven flew up and right. Huh. Did we get a weird velocity on that one? I figures the radar shut off. Who knows? Right. Round eight. Round eight through same hole. So we got a weird round seven. Yeah. Right when my velocity shut off, my radar. Weird. Did Boy, that was a nice group. Did you see what happened at the 50? Uh, I, I thought that was 25 where we were losing paper. No, it was the 50 where oh, you the blew the stick we, off. You <laughs> snipped the wood. That's going to cost you. <laughs> fucking cut the wood in half. <laughs> Five dollars per hit. Yeah. Yeah. We just sawed our wood. Now, like twenty dollars. Yeah. We just sawed our wood. Fucking wood in <laughs> Sucks. You didn't move that out of the way. <laughs> Woodcutter instead of wad cutter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not sure for why round seven. We are getting a headwind here. That's no excuse. Yeah, inch and a quarter. Yeah, we're about an inch and a quarter at 15 yards away. Except for round seven. Yeah, huh. Interesting. Very. I'm going to pull the target. Very nice on that Winchester white box. I liked it. Nice little hole. There's all the ammo we've shot today through that gun, Rival S. Wish she shoots. She's held a tight group. But, uh, it's nothing quite there yet. We've had some guns get down to three quarter with no flyers. Just ran out of ammo. Give up. <laughs> That's it. All righty. Gonna do some federal white box here. We picked up 147 grain. 
Federal. She's kind of more of a flat tip, like the Winchester we just shot. Okay. Brass cartridge. Magazine in. Boop. Down to battery. Racking it. All righty. She's hot. She's loaded. Nope. Oh, change the battery supply on the chronograph. Chronograph's triggered. All righty. First round of the Federal. Fire in the hole. Just right at the two o'clock on the bullseye there. 1046 on velocity, 15 on the angle, down to battery. All righty, round two. Right in the same freaking wow. hole. But boy, velocity changed quite a bit down to the 950. Down to battery. Round three. Same hole. Round four. Same hole. Round five. Same hole. Round six. Just up from that hole. Round seven. Same hole that the last round was in. And round eight. Back down to the same original holes. Wrap it up. We're done. So we got two <laughs> holes. We got two holes. Wow. That's yeah. impressive. Pretty impressive. 15 yards though. Yep. That'd be a pretty tight group of 25 and 50 even. Yeah, absolutely. We could stretch that one out. That's one you can stretch out. Yeah. Now you're narrowing down which ammo she likes. Yep. And go to a further distance. Let's go down range, see what she got. <laughs> Two holes. Other than there in two rounds, they're all right there. So six, seven, eight. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Most of them are right there. We yeah. got one over here and there. This is one where I wish we had the target camera set up on. Because yeah. I uh, see most of our shots were right there. So five eights by five eights right there. I'll take that those bigger ones out there. A seventy five. 875, a little more on that one. It's just under the one inch. It's just under the one inch. Let's say 875. Oh, the paper's moving a little bit. Heavy wind. So we did that even in heavy wind. Look at that. Pretty impressive. Down to 875. There you have it. Definitely likes that Federal a little better. We'll see what it likes on the other Federal. And on the rival, the American Eagle did better than this. So we're going to go to American Eagle and see what it does. There you have it. All right, moving on to the Federal 147 grain. American Eagle 147. They're kind of a flat nose too. Kind of like how that other Federal was. That's American Eagle 147. Last gun, we got quite a bit of difference on the last rival. We got quite a bit of difference between the Federal 147 and the American Eagle Federal 147. And the American Eagle won out. So we'll see if this American Eagle tightens up this time. And we take a break from this regularly scheduled program and say, if you haven't went and got any gun training, holster training, concealed carry training, target training, or otherwise, there's Compass Training Center out in Chino, Baldwin, or come out and you can go visit Gunsight. So wherever you get your training at, make sure you get some good gun training. Gunsight Academy or Compass Training Center. Okay, and you can sell. This hat has been worn. <laughs> this hat, not as much. <laughs> it's fancy. Yep. Plug them. Yeah. Give them the old plug. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Yeah, don't matter where you get your training at. Get your training, get training. When was your last time at Gunsight? When was the last time at training? And if you need a concealed carry class, you want to know how firearm manipulation skills, how to clear uh, malfunctioning guns, how to properly load, unload, hit your targets. You got compass, you got gun sight, you got some great training classes around here. So, magazine in, down to battery. She's racked, she's loaded, she's hot. Clear down range, eyes and ears on. Chronographs loaded. Let me see if I can get some kind of sight picture here for those at home who want to see it. 
All righty. There you have it. First round of the Federal American Eagle. Fire in the hole. Right low up bullseye of the big target. Down to battery. Round two. Just up from that one. 1027 on velocity. Round three. Same hole. 1029 velocity. Round four. Pretty well same hole. 1037 velocity. Here's round five. All right. 1026. Round six. Wow. Chunking out the center of that thing. 1053. Here's round seven. All right. Here's round eight. All right. Look at that. Nice. Once again, the American Eagle seemed to win out again. So 1053 on the velocity was the last round. ECI is in. We're going to go down range, measure it, see what that stuff gave us. Yeah. Damn. I don't believe that was our first round, was it? No, I don't think it was. No. <clears throat> no, I could have swore we were up. <laughs> yeah. I th yeah, we were. I think we were here. Okay, so. You on record, Federal American yeah. Eagle? I don't believe that would be our first round. You can go back and review the footage. But seven of the rounds are within three-quarter of an inch group. Look at that. Impressive. 738 on the calipers. Let's go to 750, which is three-quarter. 750. That's what 750 looks like. 750. Now the one round down there, velocity or otherwise, that one round stretches it out to inch and a half. Boo! Boo! Can I hear a boo? Boo! There's always at least one round, right? Yeah. Three quarter, guys. You may stretch it out to seven eighths, but I'm going to call that three quarter. Now, just like the last 147s, she was creeping up. So let's see if this rival S, the same thing as a rival did. And as we went to 147, I didn't put this on camera on the last one, but we noted it, that it was climbing up here. So the 147s were grouping up here where the 115s, 124s grouping down there. Got Interesting, it. you almost got two different patterns here on this gun, where the last gun kind of had it just elongated from flyers and stuff. You can see there's still clear cardboard right here in the middle. Right. Almost giving two different groups. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Well, that's all the ammo we've shot through that gun today. Definitely holds, definitely groups, definitely impressive. Look at that. And as we noted last time on the rival, you turn around, Tom, you stand over here, you'll see 15 yards away is quite a bit. And I know you don't want to see our mess back there, but it's quite a bit distance. Mm -hmm. There you have it. And there's our million dollar view. Nice breeze today. Top of the mountain. Top of the world, Ma. Yeah. All right. Federal. Syntec. 150. 150 grain. Some more of that lipstick ammo. This doesn't go boom. It goes mwah. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes out of the gun, it don't go boom. It goes mwah. He's smoochy ammo. And then it leaves little lipstick thing marks on the target. Yeah. It's like it kisses it. Little smoochies. Smoochies. So, there you have it. Magazine in. Do -do. Down to battery. Racking it. All right. Do -do -do. Trigger the radar. So we can get some sight picture for those interested. Do, 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 All right. All right, all right, all right. First round, Federal Syntec. Fire in the hole. Right low at bullseye, about 6 o'clock. And 10.53 on velocity. Got a battery, round two. Round two is to the right of that. And... 
I think he picked it up. Round three. Just above round two. Round four. Over by the first round. Round five. All right. Just by the first round. Round six. Just above the other first round. Round seven. Mwah. <laughs> Kiss that target. Woohoo. 985 on velocity. That's 100 feet per second change. Down to battery. Fire in the hole. That was round eight. 985 on velocity. There's some variation there. Huh. Interesting. Normally this stuff's like 850. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Yeah. A little different out of the longer barrel. Either way, there you have it. Let's go down range and measure it. Mm -hmm. There you have it, the Rival S. That was a Federal 150. Now we didn't test all ammo today, and uh, there's other ammo we have in our box. We didn't know if it was critical. That's a two inch to the widest point there. You remove that one out there, you're still talking inch and a half. So that's that Rival S. Here you go, not bad. That's that USPSA ammo right through there. We'll pull it and show you all the all the group that that gun did today with all the different ammo we tried let's get in that 150s up here yep up in that quadrant yep climbing up just like that other rival did it was up to the right quadrant 150 147 went up to that right quadrant mm -hmm. up here where the 115 124 is down there there you have it that's what she does that's all the ammo this gun did shot today and the weather and everything real world testing folks we don't pull our punches that's what you can reasonably expect from that gun i don't care what anybody says that there's accurate factual data if you're not testing you're guessing and your gun group good group be different your ammo could be different your your barrel's gonna be different we didn't test all ammo today <clears throat> but there's a reasonable expectation of what to expect from that gun if you're not testing you're guessing folks don't let people yank your chain Get yourself a ransom rest. Figure out what your gun shoots. Your life depends on it. Till next time, hold them hard.